So on Fridays at this time, we check in with the Michigan Department of Transportation and Nick Sharippa, and it is that time. Hey there, Nick. Good morning, sir. You know, uh, we've been reading about it, hearing about it. Some speed limits are going up to 75. Some folks think they already have. <laughs> but sure. Others sure. of us well, do pay attention to the signs. Yeah, right. 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 So I guess the uh, $64,000 question is, is there any route around here where we'll see a 75 speed limit sign? Uh, that is a negative, sir. <laughs> uh, nothing in our region. I think the, probably the closest uh, Battle Creek, uh, Calhoun County folks are going to see uh, to them is US-127 just north of Lansing and I-69 just east of Lansing. There's okay. a long stretch of 131. Uh, north of Grand Rapids, it starts just north of Grand Rapids, and uh, looks like it gets all the way up in New Haven County, uh, per- near Traverse City. All right, so when you when you listen to those descriptions of where those uh, those examples of where the speed limit is going up, you start to get the picture. These are not necessarily uh, big time heavy traffic routes. Uh, no, no, and that's that's kind of the way they were chosen. Um, there are three new laws. Uh, public Acts 445, 446, and 447. Uh, and in those laws, uh, they require an engineering study and safety review, uh, as well as current speed data uh, and all that stuff to support a higher speed limit. Um, so we're looking at roadway features like lane width, shoulder width, curvature, sight distance, number of access points, number of passing opportunities, uh, uh, as well as examining how well that roadway is currently performing. So it's not, you know, we're not looking at I-94 between Kalamazoo and Battle Creek. Yeah. There's, yeah. Just, there's far too much traffic volume, uh, far too many access points. But we need a little further up north, and I, I, I'm not trying to pick on the, on the northern part of our state, but we need a little further up north, northern lower peninsula and the upper peninsula. You're, you get longer stretches of, of highway and freeway that don't have a lot of access points, don't have a lot of uh, traffic volume. So they're, they were candidates, better candidates than what we have down here. Mm-hmm. And um, MDOT... Um collaborated on studying this with the state police, did they not? Uh, they did indeed. And what we came up with together was 900 miles of non-freeway, so M route essentially, um, that would be increased to 65 miles an hour and 600 miles of freeways, uh, I-69, I-75. Uh, that would be increased to 75 miles an hour. Uh, and all those increases are supported by speed engineering and safety studies. So they weren't just random. I mean, we have data to back those increases up. When you raise speed limits, does it tip over other dominoes that you have to worry about? Uh, yeah, yeah, why not? Um, <laughs> I, I think there, there, you always have the potential uh, for unintended consequences. Um, you know, long term, we're looking at uh, road design changes, yeah. uh, modification of guardrails and other features. Um, but we really we worked with, with the MSP, with the Michigan State Police. Uh, and really focused on selecting rooms that will be safe and appropriate based on current conditions and minimizing the need for improvement immediately. So, okay. um, yeah, we're going to see somebody. you got to remember, too, that the 85th percentile is how speed limits are set. So going from 70 to 75 really doesn't change a whole lot because mm-hmm. speed limits are set, again, based on the 85, 85th percentile, uh, which is the speed at or below which 85% of drivers already are driving. All right. Well, we appreciate the thought on that because as those stories floated around, I'm sure folks wondered uh, where they would be. In fact, uh, you can find that information easily at michigan.gov slash speed limits. michigan.gov slash speed limits. There's a map and a list of the routes and uh, links to public acts prompting those changes and some FAQs and things like that right there at that site, michigan.gov slash speed limits. MDOT update on Fridays at this time with Nick Sharippa. Thanks, Nick. We'll catch up again next week.